that is freaking awesome. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've come up the beach today. I've got uh, Ian joining me shortly. Um, we're just going to pan around a little bit there. See in the background, that's the uh, that's the port. It's a beautiful morning, about 14 degrees currently. Going to hit this beach. Um, it's only a tiny one. It's fairly active. And um, have a go at these couple of playgrounds and behind this big tree here in front of us. Alright guys, I'll get set up and wait for Ian to arrive and see you guys on the first target. Bye for now. Alright guys, just under the swing here. It's a pretty solid 21. Hard to say, I've taken my uh, headphones off, but I'll get that pinpointed and bring you back in. Right, first target of the day, just under the swings. It's a uh, New Zealand one dollar coin. A little bit dark still, but um, yeah, if I pan up a little bit, a little bit. See the sun start to come up. Alright, get a photo of that. Carry on. High tone 24 here. New Zealand 2 cent. Got a solid 23 here. Um, only about 4 inches deep. We got this. Uh, bit hard to see because it's got a bit of the old beach cancer on it um, but yeah it's New Zealand penny I'll um, get a date on that for you later and uh, put it up in the photo all right that's cool 21 on the uh, Equinox 800 and I have a dollar coin Okay, just over from that one dollar coin, um, 22, two bucks. All right, that's three inches down, pretty solid, 26, 27. New Zealand two cent piece. Okay, nice and shallow, um, pretty much under the grass, 21. One dollar coin. Okay, this one was um, a real screamer, about 31, 32. Um, sort of fell back the hole back in, but down in this corner here, probably four inches max. Got this little button. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, yeah. A bit of research, see if I can find out what it is, and I'll put that up in the photo of it. But that is uh, pretty epic. Right, there's a screaming uh, 29 here. Just popped a beautiful uh, 1942 New Zealand one penny. It's cool. Guys, I've got the um, Equinox 800 and the sand scoop, and we're just going to hit the speech here. Sorry about the sun, 
in there on the Vanquish 540 with this little coil on. So yeah, gonna go down at the wet sand while the tide's low and then come back up and do this sort of dry sand area. Alright, turn the first target. Alright, so I haven't even been able to get started and you <laughs> see Ian's scratchings just here. And the Vanquish has done it again. He's just popped himself a nice little sterling silver ring. That is bloody awesome. Go okay, pretty slow at the moment, but uh, to pop that up. Looks like a rivet. One side of a thing of some jeans or something, maybe. But yeah, a little bit of brass. All right. All right, I've got this target here. Set it all over the place. There's lots of uh, over here. 12, 24s. Seems to be most constant around sort of 19, 20 high tone. Okay hey guys, I'm just gonna uh, pull that out and wait for this water to come back in and give it a bit of a rinse. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Let's see if I can get that in the sun. That looks like a garnet. So on the vanquish that was what did we say on the Vanquish? 29. Pretty solid 29. So I've got to say that's going to be still in silver for sure. Had a bit of a battle getting it. The waves get sucking it down the beach every time I uh, popped it up. I'd throw the scoop of uh, sand up the beach and the tide would come in even further and suck it back. So a bit of a pain, but got there in the end. All right, that's beautiful. Uh, we've got a target here, 17, 18. I'm picking, it's that little bit you can see there, end of the coil. And it is. Heineken. Hi guys, welcome to Breakdown. Yes, I shot up uh, the beach this morning with the uh, Equinox 800. Um, Ian joined me and we did a little uh, bit of grass area first and a couple of small playgrounds. Didn't really get too much. Um, and then shot down the beach. So yeah, a bit of trash there as you can see. Some of that's off the grass and some of it uh, off the beach, might be all bundle a couple of wire there. See so yeah, and the coins, um, three two cent coins and uh, one cent. Ended up with uh, five bucks in spendies. Three out of the dirt, um, yeah, three out of the dirt, and they clean a dollar coin out of the bark. Got the two pennies, the. Uh, one I couldn't date for you is 1955, and the other one's, uh, I can't remember what it was now, 1942. And then, yeah, I found that, um, that button. Um, I have no idea what it is. I'm trying to, do a couple of sort of image search on Google and can't get it. So 
if anyone knows, it would be really cool to find out what that is. Thinking maybe it might be military, but yeah, I have no idea. And then, yeah, find of the day for me. Um, beautiful, big, heavy sterling silver. Had a real battle getting this out of the, um, the fine shingle down the beach. Uh, I thought I was sort of up out of the waves enough, but um, yeah, every time I dug it out, it got sucked back down the beach further. So um, yeah, it took me about sort of 10, 10 minutes or so to get it. But I got it in the end. Um, yeah, on the Equinox, that was sort of around 22, 23 high tone. And then uh, we tried it with uh, the Vanquish and it was reading a pretty solid 29. And yeah, the stone in there, I think is a, a garnet. It's a, a beautiful blood red in the light. So yeah, epic find, really happy. This is pretty good for a little short hunt. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Oh,